Welcome back to more Pokemon Heart Gold. So last time we rescued the director, giving us the card key, and we took down two more of the admins. We took down Ariana again, and we took down um, Proton, the lower floor. So yeah. Now we're going to be going onto the observation desk and taking on the one coordinating this attack. So yeah. I'm also going to probably search around my team too. So it looks like um, Jung and Quake would be used. Looking at the EXP, so yeah, let's do that. And yeah, go over here. So yeah, let's do this. So yeah. Let's go up here. And take on the final opponent. So now we're gonna go to the observation desk. This is definitely a pretty fitting place to fight the um, leader of this. And here he is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a rat though. Again, I'll talk about more about that after this spell. Are you cheering it depending on how things go, but yeah. Let's do it. You have to fight against Archer. Oh, you managed to get this far? You must be quite the trainer. We intend to take over this radio town and officially announce our comeback. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We are going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans. So here he is, Archer. Executive Archer. He's gonna be our last opponent. So he uses Houndour, which is a pretty cool Pokemon. Also level 35, so yeah, pretty high level. Let's try Surf. He is faster and he goes a fire thing. Which yeah, that could be bad. Yeah, pretty good damage. And Houndour, it's more of a physically weak Pokemon, its special bulk isn't like, terrible, so yeah. Although yeah, getting hit by a special move is definitely not gonna help it. Nessa gets a level up to level 33. That's definitely gonna help us a lot. You're actually going straight for Helm. Level 38. So yeah, this is quite scary. And yeah, yours is fire though. But yeah, I don't think a surf's gonna one-shot that. But, yeah, damage is pretty good too. But yeah, this is pretty bulky though, so yeah. I should mention something about Helm Doom though. Helm Doom is one of my favorite Pokemon. In fact, that, yeah, it's probably my favorite Jodo Pokemon, actually, so yeah. Despite the fact that, yeah, you can't really get it in Jodo, but yeah. We do hang on. We don't get flinched or burn, which is fire flex, second flex. And there you go, you actually just take out both his, um, dogs, I guess. <laughs> Let's get some strength, and then his loss is coughing. Not even a wheezing. We can't have you getting in the way before news of our resurgence reaches Giovanni. So yeah, we're gonna switch out here, obviously. I don't want to faint here, so yeah. Let's go into Young. Because yeah, Young should be able to handle this coughing. This coughing is Haze, but that's really all I remember about it. Yeah, it also tackled too. So yeah, let's go with Side Beam. And yeah, that should be it. I mean, he could live. He does have the level of Archer, so yeah, let's have a look. Nope, that's it. We take out all of Team Rocket. Pretty easily too, because yeah, Ness is just that strong. No, forgive me, Giovanni. How could this be? Our dreams have come to naught. I was not up to the task after all. Like Giovanni's done before me, I'll disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. And that's it. <laughs> nothing, else is, nothing much else to say, though. I think this is the director again. Oh, you've already defeated them? Thank you. Your courageous actions have saved Poker nationwide. You're well worth this. Please take it. The Rainbow Wing. There used to be a tower right here. When the tower was replaced with the radio tower, that Rainbow Wing was found on the top of the tower. I heard from a friend from Sienna Sea they can climb the Bell Tower in Equity Sea when you have a Rainbow Wing. I have to get back to my other sea. So yeah, now we have the Rainbow Wing. He also has something else to say too. Oh, what's it got? I go with my friend from Sienna Sea. The legendary book will not appear if you just go up to the top of the Bell Tower with only that Rainbow Wing. Apparently there's something else you need, or something like that. I wonder what it is. I can't remember. I said there's something. <laughs> this is what they call fake out. I really must go back to my office this time to see ya. Alrighty. So we've got the Rainbow Wing, but again... We haven't solved the puzzle though. Because we need something else. Like you was mentioning. But anyway, yeah, let's talk about Arch a little bit. Yeah, kind of a nothing evil team leader, I guess, because that's kind of what he's supposed to be. 
Because saying, you know, no Giovanni. Because, yeah, they were unsuccessful in having him come back. Is that because, yeah, after his defeat in Red and Blue, he just didn't really seem interested in coming back, it felt like. But then again, um, Ultra Sun Moon might have something different to say about that, but anyway. Thank you, kiddo, you're the best. This is a talk of my appreciation. You get Team 11 Sunny Day. Pretty good move, actually. It's Sunny Day, it powers up fire type moves for a while. Um, it also makes Solar Beam a one turn move. It could be actually pretty good on. Um, Agni, but I don't think Agni gets Solar Beam, so yeah. He needs to evolve to do that, so yeah. Do you listen to our music? Yeah, we actually chuck these people. Oh, you're my little savior. Will you take this as my thanks? You get Bright Powder. When a Pokemon holds it, it lowers the opponent's accuracy. He yeah, actually explained it for us. I don't really like using Bright Powder that much, especially because, yeah, I could also boost my damage to make things easier as well. I was the raid was at the ruins. I had a strange broadcaster. Yeah, from what I read, yeah, it makes it so that unknown that, um, it makes that unknown you haven't caught yet appear, so yeah, that's interesting. Hello, Z, you know, I really love Pokemon. I built this radio chart just so I could express my love of Pokemon. It would be nice if people enjoyed our programs. Yeah, I kind of do, to be honest. <laughs> like, I'm actually kind of getting kind of a kick out of bonus passive, which I'll be doing a little bit. I'm waiting it for it to be 5 o'clock. And then we'll do it. Yeah, we can also talk to these people. They have recordings of the cries of many of the Pokemon that have been found. We also have about 200 coins. I kind of remind you, in Gold and Silver, you can break a lot of the game with... I think it's with the coin case and the cries of some Pokemon sailors that. We run 24 hours a day to broadcast and tame programs. I'll do my best to run around the clock too. And yeah, you have something to say. Feel free to look around anywhere. The red is nice again, just as it was before. But yeah, I don't know if Petrol was there before or not. It, he could have been. But yeah, it's kind of hard to say considering he was at the HQ. So yeah, unless he can teleport between two places, I'm not so sure. Radio is good, you know. Oh yeah, we're back here, so yeah, this dialogue is going to be the same. So yeah, let's go down here. That also means, yeah, we can actually do the daily events at the Radio Tower now, so yeah. Like the Lorry Club again, because yeah, might as well while it's still here. Anything in match, that's fine. I've been trying a little bit, so we do have different OTs in the PC box, that's okay. So yeah, what else can we do now? Well, we do have, um... We have just been Team Rocket, so yeah, one thing we can do while I'm waiting for Wenner's password is I'm gonna see if I can do a trainer rematch. I need to look up if anyone's available at this time on this day, so yeah. I'm gonna do that first, so yeah, give me a little bit. Anyway, I wasn't actually able to get a rematch, so yeah. I just wait for 5 o'clock and here we go. Today's pass it is, when it's pass it, alright. Pretty simple pass with that. There is a couple of things we can do in this part. We might actually go to the next route because, yeah, there isn't much else we can do, so yeah, now that we've done that. Now we, you know, the via Team Rocket, so yeah. So yeah, when it's pass it. We should put us at like 8 or something, so yeah. Yep. Still a long way to go if we're gonna be getting to 30, so yeah. If that's the plan at least. But anyway, yeah, let's just go to the next route. I think another thing I'm gonna check in on is um the Lake of Rage actually. Because yeah, there was an NPC in a house there, but yeah, we couldn't really get to do much with him because he was um He was uh, more interested in the Red Garbus instance, so yeah. We'll see why he's up, but I believe he wants us to go catch Magikarp, so yeah. The Lake of Rage is back to the Magikarp return. I may yet achieve my dream of seeing the world's largest Magikarp. Do you have a rod? Please help me if you do. So yeah, uh, we go off and go catch some Magikarp. You can show them to him. I don't really know what the rewards are, to be honest. It's not something I've tried to do. But yeah, it might be something to do later. Maybe with a better fishing rod, in fact. Like, yeah, I'm not so sure if we do get better results with, like, the Super Rod or something, but I could believe it. 
Anyway, yeah, let's just head off to the next route. We have some new Pokemon to talk about too, so yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, this is also new. This grandma's shop, she sells stuff that nobody else has. I wanna buy stuff, right? So buy it at my grandma. Say so, yeah, the souvenir shop is available now. And grandma here has some um unique items apparently. Are you bothered by that noise? That's me. My false teeth don't feel right. And the cat makes the noise. Enough about that. Why don't you buy something? So she has Great Balls, Super Potions, Hyper Potions, Antelope, Paralyze, Heal, Super Repel, Revive, and Ale Milk. Well, there's nothing like unique here, but hey, it's not bad items. Like, yeah, to be honest, I could use a little bit of selling here and also a bit more Super Repels, so yeah. So yeah, am I? Yeah, I can't sell from here, so that's good. A little bit, um, slow on the response that day, anyway. We do have a lot of items, so yeah, because I've been hunting for hidden items like crazy, so yeah. Yeah, that means, yeah, I can buy a pretty decent amount of, um, super pearls. I'm not gonna buy too many, because, yeah, at some point we're definitely gonna need to buy a lot of pokeballs, so yeah. Yeah, I have five nuggets. <laughs> Definitely don't want to sell that. Um, yeah, that's good. So yeah, we have a lot of money in our pockets now. So yeah, let's buy like 20 super pearls. And you know what too? Let's call mom and tell her to save some money. Because yeah, I don't need to buy too much more, except for Pokeballs. There you are. Because yeah, now we can start maybe getting her items. So yeah, let's save some money. Because again, some of the items she does give are pretty useful, so yeah, why not? Let's do it. Alright, let's go to the next street. Do you have anything interesting to say? What, Rage Cabo, you wanna buy another? I think one is enough for you. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Did I talk to any of you? Yeah, I think. I think I have. They are. Yeah, I definitely have. Alright. With all this rambling out of the way, Route 44. What's the place to record rage music? Let's have a little look at what new Pokemon you can find. So, I guess off note, you can find Lucky Tongue here if you don't want it in the Safari Zone. They're actually DC level 24 26, so yeah, not a terrible place to catch them. Just that, yeah, again, Pokemon still feel kind of under leveled, the wild Pokemon at least, so yeah, that's just kind of how it goes. But we do have one interesting book we're going to talk about though, one entirely new one, Tangler, in the grass. So Tangler is a pure grass type Pokemon, like my beginning here, and they're also going to be fighting some trainers. I'm going to win for sure. He is a psychic, so I guess that makes sense. Um, so yeah, Tangler, pure psychic type Pokemon, both its abilities are good in the sun, but um, I much prefer Chlorophyll. Leaf Guard only protects against status, so yeah, and it's not really something I'm big fan of. Luckily for us though, Tangler does have its evolution in this game, because it needs Asian power, and it learns Asian power level 33, so yeah, that's not too bad. Again, though, it's kind of cool at low levels, so it's only level 23 here. So yeah, that's a little bit of a shame. It doesn't start off with too many amazing moves, but it does have Mega Train, which, at uh, 26, which is not too bad. Of course, one move you probably want to consider is, unfortunately, this is going to have to be a remember move, Sleep Powder. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, other than that though, nothing too great until you do get Asian Power, so yeah, why not? Let's go talk about Tempo. A Pokemon I'm actually a big fan of. I used them Platinum somewhat recently. It was a kind of a pain to catch though, because it's in the Safari Zone and I had terrible luck trying to catch it. Oh, that's a shocking loss. So after that, it gets knockoff, which is more of a utility move in competitive. Natural gift, slam, tickle. Tickle's interesting. Tangler's Pokemon Century does mention that it's ticklish, so yeah, that's kind of interesting. Well, it's vines of ticklish, I should be saying. Um, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> but yeah, it gets ring out 50. Not an amazing move, but then at 54, that is a pretty good move. And power whip. It is a mixed attacker, but yeah, 120 power physical grass type move, you can't go really go wrong with that, to be honest. Um, and then finally block at 57. 
Its TM list is great too, getting Earthquake, Brip Break, Sludge Bomb is an interesting choice. It is powerful though. Um, he gets Aerial Ace apparently, he gets Focus Blast, Energy Ball, Sword Stance, Rock Slide, Power Chip, or Power- yeah, Poison Jab, sorry. And yeah, Grass Stop too, could be an interesting Grass Tag option. It also gets Giga Drain too, so yeah, a lot of good options there. Let's fight you. I fish until I can't anymore. I also bow until I drop. That's my relationship with my Pokemon. Mutual wise, you could consider Seed Bomb if you don't like power words, so you have some accuracy. There's nothing really else to comment that. And then for Egg Moves, I definitely like the Leech Seed. Since you are catching at a low level, you could consider that. Um, because again, Leech Seed should be a move that's easy to breed on it, because yeah, a lot of Pokemon learn it at kind of low levels. Power Soft, Steven Hawkins, I'm not a really big fan of it. Leech Storm could be fun too. Um, and yeah, it also gets like Reflect and Amnesia and stuff. And then finally the stats. So yeah, Tangrowth is pretty simple. It's got amazing physical defense, and in fact amazing HP too. 100 HP and 125 defense. That's not too bad. It even hits back pretty hard too. But 100 attack and 110 special attack. Hmm, this isn't right. <laughs> it does have a pain point though. It's very low 50 special defense, it's also kind of slow to a 50 speed. So yeah, you need to be a bit careful, especially around super effective special hits. And yeah, there's no assault vest to use with it though, as well, so yeah. It would be amazing with that though, let's just say. But yeah, Tangrowth, if you want a grass type Pokemon, this is a very cool choice. Especially, yeah, if you can facilitate the lowest special defense, and or, um... And or you have the tight coverage threat, because yeah, this it does want a couple of TMs, like Earthquake would be amazing. You can get Rock Slam too, so yeah. A lot of pretty good options, so yeah. Don't even think that's saving your TMs for it. It looks strong. Good train to seek tough opponents instinctively. But yeah, you may want to pass on it though if you're already using those TMs on something else. Anyway, we've got an ace trainer here who has a Mareep. So we're gonna start lesser against it. Our next Pokemon, it's kinda rare with the broads. It's, um, Remoraid. I used it in my last playthrough of Platinum. So yeah, on the channel too, so yeah, you get to see what it's kind of capable of. So yeah, Remoraid is a Pokemon I kind of like, but it is a bit hard to use. It's quite low levels, because it's the good rod. You're only, they're only talking like level 20, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, it's gonna be, this one's also gonna be kind of a project too, kind of like, horsey. Luckily though, it doesn't take too long to get strong, considering at level 25, it does get, um, at level 25, it does get its evolution artillery. Before then, though, it gets some interesting moves, mainly Aurora Beam, and that's really it. I guess Psy Beam could be fun too. Focus Energy could be fun as well, and then yeah. It's gonna evolve into artillery. Yeah, this thing becomes an octopus. And for abilities, um, it gets Suction Cuts and Sniper. Suction Cuts prevents moves that fall switching out. It's also good with fishing, I think, as well. I think, yeah, they also fixed that in this search, or this game too. I think it didn't work properly in Dynapel or something like that, so yeah. So yeah, that's it, position the team with this, and yeah. Pretty sure Jung is position here because, yeah. <clears throat> that's the reason why. But anyway. Sniper raised the power of critical hit, which, that could be nice if using a scope lens, but that's really it. Alright, let's talk about what. Altery gets. It remembers Gunk Shot and Rock Blast, which is kind of interesting type coverage. What you gotta say? I can tell you're a good tramp by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, I can see that you are too. So it gets Octazooka 25 signature move, which is a 65 power, 85% accurate war type move. It's so not great, but it does have a 50% chance to lower target accuracy, so yeah, I guess there's that. I'm not a big fan of that though. Because the lowering accuracy isn't always, you know, something you want to be doing. I'd rather have Surf's power and accuracy. But anyway, after that, it gets Bullet Seed, which is unfortunately not that good in this game. Um, we're getting Silk Screen again. Ring out of 36, Sector Beam at 42. It does an Ice Beam for a level, but it's at 48, so once it gets kind of late, and Hyper Beam at 55. TM wise, it's really good. It gets Ice Beam for this one too. It gets Fire Blast and Flamethrower. You can also use Sludge Bomb if you really need it. Energy Ball and Charge Ring could be fun later on as well. Um, I think that's switch here. Um, it also gets Thunder Wave apparently too. And of course, Surf is a decent option too. TM list is actually pretty decent. 
You can definitely think about making it an anti-war type. I did that with a mutant over the seed bomb, which it gets. You can also get some of its other colors this way, like Sigma Beam and Gunshot as well. And then for egg moves, eh, not much. It's me access to like to to the loss of my part. It's me like access to moves that um ah oh, Mumso. Hello. Oh hi Rohan, how are you? I found a useful one while shopping, so I bought your money, sorry. But I also bloody ran a ticket to you, so you should stop by the nearest Pokemon. Pokemon at the bottom stop pick it up. I know these. Like I said, something actually gets all good. Mostly she gives you the berries that reduce your effective damage, because there's no other way to get those actually. So yeah, not bad on her part. I mean like it does get like rock blast, thunder wave, apparently it gets Montezuka as well. With um <laughs> breathing to Aurora Beam. I think that main interest though is that level or not level, its new egg move is water spell. 150 power water type move, but you need high HP for more power. So, for its 150 power basically. Kind of hard to facilitate unless you're using Trick Room though, so yeah, there's that. Or, you know, you're using a strategy on later generation, which yeah, we don't have access to. I'll do anything to get my hands on Red Pokemon. I'm thinking like moves like after you and stuff. But anyway, stat wise, yeah, Lottery is a mixed attack rack shape, but 105 attack and special attack, those are its best stats. And then afterwards, it's like kind of mid, same five HP, same five defenses, and 45 speed. I like using this thing to be honest. It was fun. I really like this tight coverage. I obviously made very good use of that. And yeah, you should too if you're using Auto Result. It's just that yeah, the low speed can be quite annoying. Unless you know you're using the quick call like I am. Oh, your Pokemon's so appealing. So they feed him. And yeah, why not? We'll keep using Young here. Yeah, have fun, does so take this guy. Ah, you may lose a polywag. what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> it was a shy po polywag. I apologize. But anyway, yeah, that's the new poke on this route. And yeah, I guess nothing about Remory 2, it can swarm on this route. I did check to see if there's a swarm going on. Apparently no. So again, it might just be the post game. Which is a shame, but that's okay. We are trying to learn new things here, so yeah. But yeah, we do land the second thunder. He didn't do much. Pulse, yeah, they're from there. Yeah, there we go, take it out. Can't wait for Thunderbolt though. We are gonna be getting it kinda soon. I'm still kinda waiting on it though, so yeah. Anyway, he's got another Goldeen. I think his last is Seeking. I think this guy, we can actually get his phone number, so yeah. He missed another Thunder, unfortunately. He goes that nice Water Pulse. And yeah, why not? We'll go for another Thunder here. But yeah, I want to use Octarium Platinum, and the main reason why was. Um, I want to be a bit more unique, because I was considering Psyduck 2, but yeah, again though, I never used Lottery before, and it's high tight coverage made it's kind of an interesting choice, so yeah, that's why I want it. So yeah, and yeah, what the punch, yeah, what the punch put in a pretty good amount of work, especially at the end of the game too. But yeah, luckily the Seeking doesn't have too much going on for it, so yeah, I can miss a couple of thunders at the that was definitely not saying this in accuracy, because saying, you know, it felt more like less than 50, <laughs> so yeah, there is that. And there you go. Just forget about it. <laughs> well, that was a very interesting battle, that wasn't it? When I'm fishing here, I sometimes catch items that put people up drawn. If I anything, I'll give it to you. And yeah, let's get this number. I think at this point, too, I should mention, yeah, I'll they beat the Team Rocket. And yeah, yeah, something else. If I snag over good, I'll be sure to let you know. So yeah, I'll be in Team Rocket. Yeah, um, more things I open up. I kind of want to get that item that Mum got. So yeah, let's um go and get that. You can't do any mahogany, so it's going to be a critique. I was going to double check this route to see if there's any um HM stat here. And the answer is actually no. So yeah, we can just go back to that route. No need for cut and stuff, so yeah. And yeah, no other Pokemon to talk about here, so yeah. It's all Pokemon we've already talked about before. And yeah, unless you don't want to, you know, Safari Zone for the Lucky Tongue, yeah, you can go try catching catch me here. Tangle is actually pretty common, it's a favor Saint Kana. There's also Weeping Bells in the street with a favor Saint Kana. But yeah, if you really want Bell Sprout, I would have just catched that at the very beginning of the game, so yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we are getting kind of close to the end of the main story, so yeah. Also, I used that opportunity to heal up as well. But yeah, though, damage reduction berries, they can be very nice, especially against some Pokemon you're fighting, so yeah. Like, imagine I was to give a Pasho Berry to Quake, and I can turn the tables on a war type, potentially, so yeah. There you go. But yeah, I believe that's what she's gonna give us first, yeah? Ron, is that a package from your mother? Here you go. No, it's not, it's just potion, okay. So yeah, of course, that's probably... If you were saving money at the beginning of the game, that means you would get that early in the game, which, yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's fight back. To the root. Brian ninjas are so doing my time. You think that, um, Coco would be interested in that place, but yeah. It doesn't really do much, yeah. Instead, yeah, we just have Price, who's the leader, who... I don't even know if he's related to ninjas or not. I'm gonna assume the answer's no, but anyway. But back on this route, may as well check with the knives. Even if I don't want to. <laughs> there are still a couple of trains left. They are near the cave. And yeah, then we're gonna end the part. We're gonna explore the ice cave in the next part. And yeah, that's gonna be our next destination. If there is a hidden item, I feel like it's gonna be up here, so yeah, let me have a look. Let's get on this up. We're also gonna need a repel here because our one last our last one you yeah, know ran out, so yeah. There you go. The Ice Cave also has some new Pokemon to talk about, so that'll be fun. In fact, even more team was from the last playthrough too. Nope, nothing good. So yeah, we... <laughs> we don't need to do much here. This is a pretty simple route, to be honest. Nothing much to say here on that. You know, the two cool, kind of cool new Pokemon. I definitely am a fan of Tangro, so yeah. It was a pretty fun Pokemon to use in that, um... Playthrough I mentioned. Do you know what the Legendary Bird Pokemon? I feel like there's a guy like this in Capture Pay, mate. <laughs> We've got Vance here with a Hoo Hoo. And yeah, should we go for Rock Blast or Roll Out? I'm gonna try Rock Blast. Yeah, yeah we do land, so that's good. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to use Earth Kick yet, but that's okay. The Ice Gate doesn't like having any trainers inside, it's just my uh, black Pokemon and puzzles and stuff, so yeah, not much else to say though. Now, I've got to Pidgeot. Hey, this could have been a cool team for um, um, the first gym leader, Faulkner, so yeah. He has a Feather Dance to lure our attack, unfortunately, miss. Feather Dance is basically one of the few things that Pidgeot's got going for it. It lends a fair level up, and it is a decent move, to be honest, so yeah. We do land the Rock Blast, but yeah, now we are way weaker, so yeah. We're definitely gonna need a lot of Rock Blast, yeah, to make up for that. And yeah, we hit all five times, so yeah, Quake definitely um, made up for the for that. And yeah, we miss again, and he has Whirlwind, which phases you out. Kinda weird that he's using that now, but oh well. And yeah, we got Chickpea out, and Chickpea can just strip. So yeah, no problem there. And yeah, he's got Quick Attack, but yeah, that's pretty much. There you go. And down goes that Pidgeotto, so yeah, there you go. Pretty simple stuff. View your hot stuff. You're str you're sure strong, but I don't want to just slink away. I know, can I get your number? Let's see up for the battles. So yeah, this guy will also is thinking about rematches too. Don't forget to come and see when I challenge you. So yeah, there you go. Next time, like I said, let's talk about the ice cave. So yeah, ice path actually. I have a lot to slip, fall over, freeze, and get stuck on the ice. Well, <laughs> and then we're going to be heading off towards the 8th gym town. So yeah, that's going to be fun. So yeah, the beat Archer, the very nothing team leader, I guess. Evil team leader. Yeah, he kind of just exists for a very short amount of time. And yeah, he doesn't really do much either. Especially because, yeah, his plan fails. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at. My brother did mention that, and it's a very good point. But yeah, we also checked out Route 44, and it's new Pokemon. And yeah, next time, we're going to be going to the Ice Path, talking about many more new Pokemon. Actually, I don't think there's that many new Pokemon, but yeah. <laughs> we're going to be definitely talking about some new ones, so yeah. 
Anyhow, maybe next time too I'll show off a rematch too. Hopefully my time schedule will be a little bit more convenient for that. So yeah, I look forward to that and I'll see you guys again for that.